Welcome to the Tuesday, January 22nd meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. I will let members and, and staff introduce themselves. Hannah Smith. Martha Smirsky. Meredith Crandall, staff. Stephen Everett. Eric Gilbertson. Seth Mitchell. For anybody who's not been here before, we are advisory to the Development Review Board. We will review the applications and move them forward to either administrative approval or to the Development Review Board. And do I hear a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. I second it. Second. All in favor of the agenda, raise your hand. And we can go straight to the first application, 158 Main Street. So come up and have a seat. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I adapted my, so I live in a condo association. We're doing a big capital improvement with roof and chimney and furnace and everything, and they're doing exterior painting. Uh, oh. oh. The like they can't hear I mean, me. She, well, no, it records and is distributed. Oh, it. I mean, it is right near her. It wasn't close me. enough. It's it's got to be right next. To okay. Okay. Is that better? I, it's, ask him. It, ask him because <laughs> he can see what the right. what it's like. How's for, that? Is that better? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> 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 you want me to sing a little death buffer? <laughs> 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 Uh, so I proposed to my condo association that I change the colors based on not white. <laughs> okay. That's it, not white. And so I came down and asked Audra how that procedure worked and what were some color options. And she said they don't disapprove a lot. So I went to Benjamin Moore and just chose from their historic exterior paints okay. this palette that I liked, mm -hmm. which are these. It's nothing crazy. It's beige. Okay. And that's the trim and the lattice. That's the body. Mm -hmm. And because I have a new porch deck, so mm -hmm. they're going to, I read in, they're going to paint my porch per our architects and our whole thing. So I want a darker version of that. I don't want a gray. I want it to match. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I have a new porch deck, which you probably can see they rebuilt the lattice. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be the trim. And my doors pretty much this color now. Which is what, black? No, it's a green. That green, this color, it's there. I have that green door. Mm -hmm. That's an existing, so. So that's where I chose this from. And I checked in with a friend of mine who's an interior designer and said, what do you think of these colors? And she said, those are great colors for blending in and resale and historic. So that's pretty much where I came up with them. And the painting is not happening until spring. Yeah. I know. I just yeah, want to make sure I face. don't have to go through. Yeah. Right. Everybody knows we that, figured that yeah. nobody's painting anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. so I'm happy to pass these around if anybody needs to see a closer look. Then the darker color would just be the porch? Just the porch deck. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. And the rest, the lattice of the porch is this color? <laughs> In the trim. Okay. Right. Stephanie, you said this is unit one. Is it, isn't the whole building being painted? I'm a unit, I wrote unit one because it's a condo association. It's only my, I'm a single family, two-story house. Mm -hmm. So it's just me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. okay. It's, but it's the whole house is being painted. Then. Correct. Yeah. Right. Okay. But I'm technically unit one, like for mailing and everything like that, because we're, I'm an association. So just, just for clarification. And would you get closer to your project? and you look at your paint samples and then you get a sample of the paint, paint a section of the wall, and sometimes the actual color, depending on location and exposure, may look a little different than the chip, yeah, just in sure. terms of shading. Yep. So you can always go, for instance, if it looked lighter and you thought it ran really like a little darker, they can do what they call a plus 50. They add 50% more pigment. Right. And let's say that I wanted to do that or go lighter. Do I need to double check in with are you no, is everybody you, good with like these this shades that, of these that, and not that shade is fine. I think it's great you're yep. eliminating a 
building it covered with white. With white, <laughs> yes. In our clump of whites. Yeah. Yes. But there are two reasons for doing that. Number one, uh, if the if the actual paint looks a little lighter than your chip, yeah. you may want to go darker, only because you're you're on a main travel street, mm -hmm. and the dust level is very high. Okay. And White houses often, if you see them after a few years, they're yeah. freshly painted. After right. a few years, they look dirty. They need right. to be hosed that's, off. Well, that's the main one so, of the main reasons is yes. also Eric because I'm in a clump of white houses, mm -hmm. and if they're repainting them, like there's no reason why to not make this look better. Yes. Like there's like oh. zero reason why we can't make it look better, and white. But that's good advice. Thank you. Yeah, when the time comes. Well, sometimes I might even buy a little sample, the actual of, paint, buy a sample you of it. A sample of like the little exactly. port of the paint mm -hmm. is worth trying. Yeah, absolutely worth and then, it. And yeah. again, you can play with that, and right. again, you can do a plus yep. 50 or whatever you need to yeah. get the actual shade yep. you're looking for. Yeah. These, these colors will hide dust better than white. Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> much better. Right. <laughs> right. And if the building in front of me, I don't know, like they're painting that too, whether they're going to ask for like shutters being changed, I don't know, like we're each sort of in charge of our own, I'm in charge of my own space. Because you don't have any shutters on your building. No, no. nor is there a plan to add shutters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. Any other comments, questions, suggestions of any kind? Go for it. I'm fine okay. With it. You're ready. There's a set of criteria. I'm just going to read through them. Okay. Quickly. Uh, number one, preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the proposed projects in the historic district or involves an historic structure acceptable. Harmony of exterior design with other properties of the district acceptable. Compatibility of proposed exterior materials acceptable. Compatibility of proposed landscaping not proposed in this application. Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities. No change in any outside utilities, lighting, or anything. Okay, not applicable. Recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house, acceptable. And I'll make a note here that at your option, the So the chosen body color may be darker in the same tints to match the tint of the color chip presented if necessary at the time of painting. Okay. All in favor of the application, raise your hand. Yeah. Administrative permit will probably issue it tomorrow. Okay. And then when it comes time, I'll just post the permit in the uh, window or? You'll post the permit when you get it in the mail. Oh, okay. Because um, now? The, yeah, oh, okay. When we send it to you, you post your note of your permit oh, okay. on the window because it's 
the appeal period, the 15-day appeal period, is from the time of issuance of the permit. So okay. that's why you have to notify your neighbors gotcha. this way. I'm glad that I asked because um, I wasn't And well, there'll that. be instructions oh, okay. in the packet, right. too. Um, Perfect. We'll mail that to you. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck with your project. Thanks. And has everyone had a chance to look at the January 6 minutes? Do I hear yes. a motion? Approve unless anybody has any changes to offer. Do I hear a motion to approve? Okay. So I, move to I move to approve. Second. <laughs> All in favor of the minutes, raise your hand. The minutes are approved. So, anybody have anything else? To what the, the abbreviated? What? Richard Shire. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's. I mean, I can put more detail in if you want. But it's. Yeah. Is it necessary? I, that's, I didn't think it was really necessary. I mean, it tried to, tried to capture everything he said in a brief way, and we still have the, the recordings are there indefinitely. Right. And it's tabled, so at some point when they come back, we can mm -hmm. go set in more detail, yeah. depending on the. Any changes in the design? Anything else? Uh, don't forget the January 27th public hearing on the new design review. Yeah. Regs and boundaries. Okay. And the boundaries are uh, they're posted on the internet. Yep. So and it's it's uh, actually larger than it used to be. Well, you can zoom in. You can zoom in. It, it, it's a little bit like some of the boundaries are a little bit like a rabbit chase. One <laughs> into the brush, but and taking really sharp corners. In places. In places. Um, are you here to comment to the design review committee? or? I was just observing. I'm thinking about relocating. I just kind of wanted to get a sense of the community. Oh. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And if there's nothing else to it, here, a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor of adjournment, raise your hand. Meeting is adjourned. That was quick. That was quick. 15 minutes. Yeah.